Hey, what's up, everyone? Jenny Man here, and welcome to the start of a brand new series on LMA Manager 2003. Yep, we've jumped back in time here to play one of the classic management games of all time. Now, I did put a Twitter poll out uh, to help decide which game I was going to play. I wanted to do a throwback save while I was on vacation, and I decided to do this one. So uh, basically, the Twitter poll helped me decide between LMA Manager, F uh, FA Manager, Ultimate Soccer Manager, and uh, a new Championship Manager 0102 save. So with uh, the, the, the poll spoke, people want to see LMA Manager 2003, so here it is in all its glory. Now, this is one of the um, one of the golden games as far as management uh, management style games go. It really is a superb management game. And if you get a chance to uh, get a copy of this, you haven't played it for yourself, highly recommend it. I mean... As far as management games goes, it's it's up there. It's up there alongside Football Manager and Championship Manager, respectively. Definitely offers a different take to it, but still has a level of addictiveness and quality that you look for in a really good management game. So I decided to take over as Everton, uh, Manager of Everton. Um, no real particular reason, except maybe the fact that Everton had a young man named Wayne Rooney at only 17 years old. Now, obviously, he was coming straight into the league at this point in time. So it's kind of cool to go back in time obviously this is the 2002-2003 season um so a lot of these names you may not recognize some of our younger viewers out there but i'm sure a lot of everton fans that might be watching this could bring back a little bit of nostalgia um so as you can see um i haven't really set my tactics up i literally just loaded the game up and um just really it's it's it's, a, it's like a flashback of nostalgia right now i'll look at all these screens again i'm trying to get uh, kind of re, kind of re, um, what do you got it conditioned to all these different things. Um, so obviously, goalkeeper wise, you've got Richard Wright, you've got Alessandro Pistoni, left back, Stubbs, Unsworth, Joseph Yobo, right back, Gary Naismith, at left midfield, that's pretty uninspiring. But uh, Lee Tai, uh, Thomas Gravison, now that was a player and a half, wasn't he? He was superb. He went on to Real Madrid and did some great things for them. Uh, Scotty Gemmel at right midfield, surprised he was that old at the time. Um, Big Duncan Ferguson. That was a man you don't want to mess with. Uh, Kevin Campbell, a bit of a legend as well in the uh, football arena. Um, who else have down here? David Weir. 32-year-old uh, yeah, David Weir. Who else? Uh, Thomas Brzezinski. There you go. Canadian striker. Yeah, he was he was a good player in his day as well. But yeah, it's great to go back and see some of these old names and old faces and uh, just going back to play this game is fantastic alone. I was a big uh, Southampton supporter uh, back in the time. I used to travel home and away. Didn't miss a game for like two or three years. And this for me was the golden era of uh, so, uh, football support for me and being a fanatic. You know, this really was it. I, I remember a lot of these faces, a lot of these players just by, you know, just being that obsessed with the Premier League and all the things. Like that. But anyway, straight into the game action. And now I'm trying to remember what tactic I used. I believe I went for a 4-4-2. Or I went to the 4-3-1-2 formation. I think, I think I use this one a lot more. Um, again, a lot of this, I'm still. Obviously, a lot of this might just absolutely be. I'm gonna do that. That that looks familiar to me. And again, a lot of this I'm gonna stay is what looks really familiar to me. And um, just because you know, it's 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 been a long time since I played it. Um, let's go over the screens. Obviously, you got the training screen, which is pretty awesome. Um, and we got so obviously the U team. Now this is one of my favorite features of LMA Manager uh, series. The fact that U team, you can see young players growing and developing, and you can take keep an eye on their performances. You know as far as um, obviously stats at top right and corner, played, conceded, stuff like rating. Uh, obviously overall, but the overall system works essentially. It's out of ten marks. Um, as you can see, McKenzie here is the very top player, is 5 out of 10, I guess you can call it. That's the best way to describe it. Instead of the very classic football manager or championship manager style, which is graded by n numbers. Um, next up, we got obviously injuries, that's fine. Message boards, okay. Fixtures is information. Uh, let me see, got the search criteria. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's go. So I'm looking for a sign of play. I've got about 12 million pounds to spend. Not a lot of money. It was a lot of money back then, not a ton of money, but it was still a decent amount. Um, let's see what I can try and bring in, shall we? Let's do, uh, let's try and bring in a right back, because Joseph Yobo didn't look good enough to me. So let's try and bring in a right back. Uh, maximum value of 5 million. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. All right, so. Obviously, these players aren't transfer listed. Gary Neville, 5 million pounds. Could try and bring Gary Neville in, couldn't I? A little cheeky bit for Gary Neville. There you go. See what happens there. 
Oh, there's some great names in here. Mario Melchiart, uh, Klaus, Panucci, Javier Zanetti, um, Suas Hoffman was a good player too. I'm trying to think, I'm just trying to rack my brain on players that used to be kind of the best players in this game. Uh, I know Dean Ashton was a goal scoring legend. In fact, let's go find him real quick, shall we? Um, how do we go back? Search results. Okay, just do Ashton, Dean Ashton. See if we can find, oh, Ass, yes, Dean Ast Aston. That's about right. Uh, all right, okay. Okay, no players found. Is it Dean Ashton? It's Ashton, not Aston, not fucking Aston Villa. Oh. Yep, that's, uh, that's me in a nutshell. Uh, let's see, Ashton, alright. Okay, beautiful, okay, Dean Ashton, yeah, okay, so. This guy scored a ton of goals, it's fine. Gotta play compensation because he's underage, blah blah blah. Make it offer, okay, let's see what happens with him. Let's move on to different screens real quick, guys. So we got the financial screen. Um, in this too, by the way, um, you, you, you're almost like a director of football somewhat, or at least a marketing manager as well, you have to pick your sponsors and uh, your billboards and stuff like that, as you can see here. All these are done for me. Um, actually, yeah, all these are done for me. I've let my staff take over that because, you know what, nobody's got time for that. Um, but it was still pretty interesting. You could control those little nitty-gritty things. If you're a low-league team, it was kind of important you did that because you want to try and maximize as much revenue coming in because revenue in this game is pretty hard to come by. Um... Anyway, uh, let's see, we got the wage screen, hoardings, perfect. All right, so this is one of the cool features too about LME Manager that I remember a lot, I loved as a kid. The stadium building feature um, was fantastic. All the stadiums were lifelike, all the models were to a T, like this This is Goodison Park, essentially. I mean, it looks exactly the same as it today. Maybe a little bit dirtier than it was back then. Uh, no offense, there, Everton fans. Um, but nevertheless, it's still quality to be able to like adjust the stadium in real life. It kind of brings that element of realism to it. For instance, if I want to change a north stand, right? Um, can I change a north stand? I want to change a north stand. Okay, north stand. Here we go. All right, so I can change a north stand. I can make it into two tier corners, perfect. And there was like yeah, a 39 stars here to utilize. All right, so see how that looks. All right. There you go, beautiful. All right, so that would cost me 2.7 million pounds, and it would take two months to do. But as you can see, I lose capacity. I'm not going to really do any that much stadium editing uh, in this little series, a little this little playthrough. Um, by the way, this series only lasts about uh, five to ten episodes long. Again, it's only doing this while I'm on vacation, but if the series gets enough support, I may return to LMA Manager 2003 in the future and kind of do a full Let's Play of it. Um, and also, one of the cool things, you can build a new stadium. Now, that was pretty epic, you know, because at this time period, a lot of clubs were building new stadiums, um, and uh, it was just kind of the, the cool thing to have, a brand new stadium. So this kind of gives you the chance to build your own stadium to your own specifications, design, etc., etc. But again, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. A lot of good memories. All right, so let's set the team up. So we got a game against Tottenham today. First and foremost, we open up the uh, opening day fixture against Spurs. Pretty tough test. All right, so what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? So we have Thomas Gravison. We're going to have you play a bit more central. Um, I'm going to play left midfield for me, though, because I don't like freaking Gary Naismith playing left midfield. All right, so that's fine. I'll do this. Wayne Rooney, I'm going to start you because I want to. Because you're Wayne Rooney, for Christ's sake. Uh, Steve Watson, is he better than Yobo? I want to say he is. Steve Watson is a little better than Yobo. Okay, I can live with that. Um, Lee Ty apparently playing left midfield right now. That's not going to work for me. Who else can play left midfield? Can anyone else play left midfield? Because I don't want to have to play... Mark Pembridge could play left midfield. Um... Lindelof is good. It was a good player. I wanted to. Solid. Very, very solid. Um, crap. I don't really have any other options there, do I? Um, I'm going to play Rosinski, by the way, ahead of Campbell. So I'm going to tell Rosinski I scored a lot of goals in this game, which is kind of neat. Uh, Rosinski for more. Perfect. All right. I like that. Um, Lee Carsley. All right. You can play left midfield. You know, yeah, yeah, you can play left midfield. There you go for Lee Tai. There you go, beautiful Lee Tai. Uh, uh, I, 
I guess just slightly better than Lindelof, but you know what? We'll stick to Lindelof because I reckon I remember you more than I do Lee Tai. Alright, so here we go. Tottenham at home at Goodison Park. Now it's gonna be a little bit strange for me to get used to the um the highlight system end because you go between fast and slow. Slow is too slow to watch and it's painfully boring, and fast is is like you're on crack and you can't see anything. So Tottenham, alright, so they've got a slightly better team than we do. Uh, let's see the starting 11, shall we? Can we see that? Alright, so we got Neil Sullivan, goal, Ledley King, uh, Chris Perry, Dino Richards, rest in peace, Dino, uh, Clements Poyer, Jamie Redner, Tim uh, Sherwood, Stefan Freud, Les Ferdinand, Robbie Keane. Oh man, this was a this was a great team, wasn't it? Actually, it was a really good team back then. Absolutely superb. Alright, um... Happy that I line up? Yeah, let's get straight into the game. All right, first game in charge of Everton up against Spurs. Let's try and uh, let's try and win today. I think. What do you think? A nice win to start the series would be excellent. Getting annihilated might be slightly demoralising, but it'd be nothing unusual for me. Uh, obviously, it'd be uh, it's kind of this is, this is fun. It's, this brings back a ton of nostalgia. I'm really happy playing this game again. Kind of fills you full of ideas and oh yeah the uh, the kits were semi-real as well as you can see you can change the sponsor at the front so uh, obviously the sponsors weren't the ones you saw there uh this is kind of cool too before you start the game there's a little bit of a I, th I think this is better than football manager how they did this i think this looks much more professional i like this a lot all right so here we go oh these graphics these are these are, I'll tell you what, at the time though, these were fantastic. I mean, compared to, uh, let's say, Championship Manager, who, by the way, hadn't done any of the, the 3D match engine. Uh, as far as that goes, this was definitely an improvement from that. So, anyway, it was kind of cool as well with LMA Manager, obviously playing it on your console. As you can see, the slow pace, by the way, is very, very slow. Um, but anyway, having... How do we, how do we slow again? Oh yeah, okay, it's hit square. Okay, keep that in mind. Alright, so... But anyway, as I was saying, uh, having a management game on your console, um, while it wasn't a new concept, um, LME Manager were, were the best at it, to be honest with you. There was Player Manager as well, there was Premier Manager, um, but LME Manager were definitely the very top of it. Uh, Alright, so Gravis into long here, uh, ball goes long back, here's Gemmor offside. There's a chance, nope, Dean Richards, yellow card, oh, free kick here, dangerous area, who's going to take it? Gravison to Carsley. Here's Rooney, edge the air, Rooney shoots! Oh, blocked there by Christian Zieger. He makes the clearance. Alright, so early on here, we're doing okay. Tottenham really haven't had many chances. Mind you, nor have we. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to, trying to focus on the game here so I can slow it up to see the action. Uh, that was a chance there, obviously a shot on target, I'll take that. So, so far, 30 minutes in, we're holding our own so far, which is good. So my tactics weren't completely off base. Oh, there's a goal. Robbie Keane gets a goal at the back post. Not quite sure what happened. I'll show the replay here. First goal of the season for Robbie Keane. Crazy action here. Balls at the back post. Not sure what Richard Wright was doing there. Robbie Keane snuck in at the last second and uh, tucked it home for 1-0. Oh, decent effort there. Not sure what it was from. Again, it's going to take me... Oh, there you go. Get in there. Big Duncan Ferguson. 1-1. One, one. Get in there. Just before halftime, Duncan Ferguson gets himself on the score sheet. Take another look at this goal again. Balls in the box. Great save from uh, Neil Sullivan, but uh, Duncan Ferguson with the poacher finish makes it 1-1. One, one. All right. Halftime. All right. So let's take a look at some of the stats. How are we doing? We're doing well, actually. We're playing really well. Um, surprising. I, I expect to get my ass kicked to me, ass kick because obviously I haven't used any of these tactics for quite some time. But things are going well. Match rating. Right, who's playing poorly? Lee Carsley. That's not really a surprise. Uh, could bring on Anderson, perhaps? Yeah, well, I'm going to do that. All right, so. Nicholas Alexanderson is going to come on for Lee Carsley. And let's get back into the action. All right, since I fade so miserably and slowing, the t slowing it down, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to let it run, and we're going to just watch the goal highlights as they happen. All right, so come on. Also, one of the cool things about this too, it was one of the first management games that I remember distinctly. Could be, could be. Don't quote me on this one. Could be inaccurate here, but I remember you could ever do shouts like defensive, keep ball, long ball, or attack. Really basic stuff, 
but I thought it was kind of cool that you could shout from the sideline and obviously this wasn't an option in Championship Manager, the game that obviously I used to play a lot of as a kid. Alright, so 75 minutes here, we're doing pretty well for ourselves, let's make a substitute shall we? Let's change things around a wee bit. Uh, let's bring off Rooney, uh, let's bring off bring on Linderov instead. Uh, with that in mind though, I want to play Gravison a bit more advanced. How do we... How can I do that? We've got to wait for... Okay, I've got to wait for the substitute to happen and then I'm going to go back in to do it. That's, that's semi-annoying. Alright. Alright, so now I can push Gravison forward. I want Gravison in the hole ahead of Lindorf. Lindorf is a much more defensive mind in the field. Gravison's more creative. Um, we go on Kevin Campbell for Wazinski as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so we've got about 10 minutes left to go in this game to try and snatch a winner here late on. Ooh, decent effort there. Good save there from Neil Sullivan. Oh, get in there! I think it was Tom Duncan Ferguson again. See what happened here. Ball goes long. Can't see who that is. And then Gravison hit it forward. Flicked on. And what a goal that is from Duncan Ferguson. Get in there, my son. 2-1. Alright, so let's do defensive. Let's switch to defensive. Let's try and see out this game, shall we? All right, come on, boys. A couple minutes now. In an extra time, here's Linderoff. And it's a full-time whistle. First game of the season. Beating Tottenham 2-1. Get in there. Again, this series could be an absolutely unmitigated uh, mess, by the way, because it's, it's a very, very different style of recording to what I'm used to. Um, oh, this one of the cool things, too. After the game, you have the interactive TV where you can watch the highlights of the game, check the results, league table. Um, it was kind of like... I don't know why to describe it really. It was kind of like, a, I guess, a match of the day kind of clone. That was kind of the, the idea behind it. All right, so one game in, one win. Easy peasy, I tell you what. All right, so message board. Okay, so I don't have an email-ish system. So hearts are over 2.7 uh, million pounds for Stevenson. Um, sorry, Simmonson, I should say. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and expect the office for that one. Nope. Okay, here we go. Hearts. Yeah, 2.7. That's fine. I think it's my third choice goalkeeper anyway. Uh, also, a bit for Wazinski now. 5.3 million. Not interested in that. Thomas Wazinski is going to be an important player to the team this year. Uh, I had other mail too. Mail, mail, mail. Where's the mail? Here we go. Alright, that's fine. McLeod has improved the shooting, which is which is good, I guess. All right. And I think to get rid of it, you have to go in and delete. All right. Didn't want that. Let's go back here. All right. So we're up against Sunland next up, and they beat Blackburn 1 0. Let's take a look. See who played well in that one. Julio Arca, by the way, plays himself in the lower league leagues of uh, English football nowadays. Toy Andre Flo. Uh, Super Kevin Phillips next to him. Michael Gray at left back, Stephen Wright, the former Liverpool guy at right back, uh, Bjorkland, heart of defence, Claudia Reyna, American, Swartz, Matt Jody, <laughs> like McAteer, he was a, he was an interesting player in his day, wasn't he? All right, so, all right, so Sunday 18th, yeah, we've got about a week until the next game. Uh, we've got two weeks as well till the transfer deadline. Uh, so what I'm going to do here off camera is I'm going to go look for some players potentially to sign. Uh, let me know in the comments below who should I sign. Um, keep in mind, actually, actually ignore that because I'm not going to be able to read it. I'm going to be on, on my holiday. Um, so put in the comments below who you used to sign of LMA Manager. Do you have any favorite players in LMA used to play? Do you have any favorite memories of LMA Manager? Do you remember playing this game? What was your favorite formation? Just um, discuss it amongst yourselves below. I'll be interested in reading those comments when I get back from vacation. Um, yeah, that's really about it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I am. This is going to be a lot of fun. Something different for the channel. And um, yeah, overall, looking forward to it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I'll see you guys in the very next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.